Hi everyone, my name is Gordon, and today I'm going to talk about a video interview. Sometimes it's really daunting to sit in front of a camera talking to nobody, literally like what I'm doing right now. But most law firms require you to do a video interview before progressing to the assessment center stage. So it's really important for you as an applicant to now the video interview stage. But how can you do that? When I apply for law firms, I try to search online to see whether there are any tips to nail a video interview. What I got was things like you need to be calm during the interview. Well, I mean, who doesn't know that? That's what I felt uh, several times at the beginning, and I finally figured out some of the tips and techniques you can use in order to nail a video interview. And in short, I would say the focus should be more on the delivery rather than the content. I would say video interview is about 70% delivery and 30% content. What does that mean? And I will jump right to my first tips uh, to help you understand the process. So the first tips for video interview is that you need to focus more on the structure of your answer rather than the content itself. Well, it may sound a little bit weird when I say that for the first time, but it's really true. There are two things you need to bear in mind. First is the whole nature of the video interview is that you only have one to one and a half minutes to answer one question. So the interviewer doesn't actually expect you to give the best or most convincing argument for your answers because it's impossible to figure out such an answer in a short period of time. And secondly, most of the questions that will appear in a video interview are usually unexpected. So the interviewer noticed that they won't actually require you to give the best answer for each and every question. So what do they actually care about or look for in a video interview? It's the way you deliver your answer. The interviewer cares more about the structure of your answer rather than the content of your answer. But of course you could, if you could possibly give a good content or good arguments for your answer, that would be a bonus. I hope this makes sense. So for my second tips, it's actually closely related to my first tips. Use signposts or transitional phrases to present your answers. Well, this is a really important point because whenever you deliver your answer, you should take advantage of signposts in order to give a better structure of your whole answer. There's actually some sci uh, psychological evidence for this. There was a study conducted in the past suggesting that whenever you present your argument, if you use signposts like firstly, secondly, thirdly, the listener will automatically find your arguments more convincing compared to the way you deliver without using such signposts or transitional phrases. So it's advisable for you to actually use this kind of signposts in order to deliver your answer and give, a, give an impression to the interviewer that you, are, you give a very structured and organized answer in a very clear manner which is the element that the interviewer is actually looking for at a video interview. My third tip is that you need to practice the three classic types of uh, video interview questions. Well, more often than not, the questions that will appear at a in video interview are mostly unexpected. However, you could still take advantage of your time to prepare for the three classic types of video interview questions. The first one is the competency-based questions. Well, in most video interviews, there will definitely be one or two competency-based questions. They will probably ask questions like your teamwork skills, your time management skills, whether you can resolve a conflict within a team, etc. And the second type of questions will be the scenario-based questions. There will usually be one or two scenario-based questions as well. And this kind of questions is really difficult to be prepared in advance. For example, they will ask you a scenario when you are already doing multiple things at a time and they're all urgent. A partner certainly asks you to do something else which is important to how you deal with this situation. Or if you have a lot of things to do but a partner asks you to attend a client event uh, which is not that important compared to the things you're doing, how will you respond to the situation? those kind of questions. And for the third types of question will be the questions about the firm. And those kind of questions usually are the questions that you can prepare in advance. For example, they will ask you why you joined the firm and also uh, who is the firm's, who are the firm's competitors, etc. My advice is that for video interviews, 
you need to have an expectation that the question that will appear eventually will not be those questions that you actually prepare. But actually by preparing those three kinds of questions in a consistent manner, you kind of build some confidence on the types of question or the styles of the question that will appear in the actual interview. And you build your confidence and you will be more likely to answer those questions uh, in a more confident manner, even though the question may not be exactly the same at the end. I hope these tips help. My fourth tip is being able to finish your answer is really important. Well, why do I say that? Because the fact that you couldn't finish the answer on time have two implications. Firstly, when you couldn't finish your answer, what would you do? You would tend to be so fast toward the end of the interview and you would tend to uh, be in a rush and you would give an impression to the interviewer that you're super nervous because you speak so fast. And secondly, the interviewer will also think that you're not very good at time management as well because you couldn't finish the answer on time. So my advice will be that it's better for you to leave a few seconds at the end of the interview rather than you not being able to finish the answer at the end. Because if you leave a few seconds, let's say five or ten seconds at the end, you could try to say something like, thank you for your time, I really appreciate that. Or you may just briefly summarize all the arguments or points you've mentioned before and do it very quickly at the end. And I think that will actually give a better, better impression to the interviewer because you're more organized and also you are more uh, confident because you wouldn't speak too fast because of the time limit. So I think it's a good idea to actually leave a few seconds. A five seconds will be ideal um, for you to actually just stay calm and say thank you for your time. I hope this makes sense. And my fifth tip is that always have your prepared notes ready. Because when you prepare for your video interviews, you definitely already have a set of notes predicting the kinds of questions that will possibly appear in the video interview and you would do lots of preparation, research of the firm, etc. Although it is not very likely that you will get all the five questions uh, right, but there may be one or two questions that you will get it right and you already have prepared answers to those questions. Although it's not recommended for you to actually memorize the answer, but it's always good for you to look at your notes during that 30 seconds preparation time so that you can refresh your memories and also have an idea of what you're going to say. So it's always a good idea to have your prepared notes ready in case you face a question that you have already prepared in advance. My final tips for the video interview is that you should try to practice using some video interview simulators or the practice questions at the beginning of your video interview. Well, when you look at the internet, you can find lots of resources. For example, uh, providers like the Corporate Law Academy, they provide uh, paid services for video simulators, for example. Um, if you really want to practice, you can try to use those kind of services. But there are also some, a few of uh, free resources you can possibly use to prepare your, uh, for your video in the field. Although uh, the quality of the simulator varies from providers to providers, but you can try to take advantage of those uh, tools so that to give yourself a feeling of what it would be like to talk to no one in front of camera. It's also advisable for you to keep practicing the practice questions offered to you by the firm at the beginning of the video interview. Because usually in most video interviews, they will give you one chance to keep practicing before actually start the interview. They will give you a practice question. Try to use that chance to practice as many times as possible in terms of the way you deliver an answer, uh, the kind of question you will face in the actual interview. Just try to use that chance to keep practicing and practicing. It would definitely give you more confidence if you have practiced enough at the beginning of the interview even though the actual interview questions may not necessarily be the same or the one that you have prepared before. So these are the six tips I use to prepare for my video interviews. I hope you guys find them useful. 
And video interview is indeed a daunting process, and you need to speak in front of camera, answering different kinds of unexpected questions under a time situation. Well, it's indeed a little bit stressful, but I hope that those tips can help you survive a video interview and have your application progress into the next stage. So if you like this video, please leave it a like and also maybe comment down below to tell me what you want to know about the whole training contract or application procedure or even law in general, how to study, etc. I will try to make uh, more videos on those kind of topics and I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and show some support by subscribing to my channel as well. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.